Hello everyone, dear viewers, I'm Ayhan. Today I have with me a tube engine of Coupon Smart Brand. It has useful features. Let's start our video. Yes, I want to start by opening the box. When we open the box, we are directly greeted by our motor. There we have a bag with fasteners. Let me quickly tell you the products that come out of it. Here we have a square shaft plate to be attached to this square shaft. Apart from that, There's a wedge here that will give this rotational movement. This wedge can fit here. We have a tab so that when we attach a part to this end part, that part will not come out. We also have a coupling here. This coupler is also there to prevent this piece from coming out by attaching it to the back of this square shaft. Let's take our styrofoam on the table and put our motor. Yes, this is how our product comes with phase, neutral and earth connections. As I said, this part can be fixed by attaching it here. For example, you can also use an octagonal pipe apparatus in this way according to your needs. If we show this as follows, for example, we installed the wedge here. Then there is already a thread part here in the pipe apparatus. After attaching this, we insert this tab here. There is also a place for the tab to enter here. For example, after fitting it in this way, you can also prevent this part from coming out of here. That's actually what these are for. You can also use radio frequency controls with the motor. We have three remote controls here. They can be used together with these controls. We'll pair it with one of them. This device also has Wi-Fi capability. And these devices, that is these tube motors, are completely 100% domestically produced in Turkey by Couponsmart. This is important information. Let's be sure to give this information. And in order to use the Wi-Fi features, the limit points must first be set with the radio frequency remote control. Now we will do this process. For this, we first need to power our device. We have a cable with a clamp. Let's assemble it quickly. When we first install the device, it first makes a small movement up and down. We have a 10 second process. In that 10 second process, we press the button behind the remote control twice. And then when we press the up button, the pairing is ensured. Yes. And now our remotes are paired. Our on and off functions are working. Now we will determine the limit points. Now we determine the limit points as follows. After pressing the back button once, press it twice in a row, and that's the upper limit. Then, for example, let's say this is a guillotine. We lowered it down. Let's say this is the bottom point. For this again, I press the back button once, then I press down twice, and this is the... is set as the bottom position. Now let's run it upwards. So we kept the limit short so that we can show it quickly. Normally you will make the settings of this according to yourself. Now that we have set the limit points, we can move on to the mobile application. Now we open the Coupon Smart app for this. You can use Coupon Smart with both your iOS and Android devices. After opening the app, we have a plus button on the top right. From here we go to Add Device. We enter the Door and Window section. We choose one depending on whether we will use this motor as a pergola or a guillotine. Let's show the guillotine first. I will also show the pergola later. I chose the guillotine. Here we enter the Wi-Fi information we want the device to connect to. There is an important point here. This Wi-Fi information must be 2.4 GHz, so you need to connect to a 2.4 GHz network. It cannot connect to 5 GHz networks. Let's give this information. After entering the Wi-Fi information, I say next. Now the device needs to go into pairing mode. I'll have to press this button three times to get it into pairing mode. Yes, our light started blinking. Now I say next. I confirm that the light is blinking. I say next again. And it quickly found it as a guillotine window. Of course, there is something we need to pay attention to during this process. The device, the phone, and the modem or router to be connected must be close enough to each other. The closer they are, the faster this process will be finished. As you can see, our process is finished because the devices are very close to each other. I say it's done. And now you can see my guillotine window here with its position, I press down. 
when it stops, it is at the bottom position. Again, when it stops at the top, it moves to the top position. Now let's talk a little bit about other features of the application. There is a timer menu here. By clicking the add button in this timer menu, you can create a program that this device should turn on and off. For example, during the day, let's say you can make a program such as half an hour on, half an hour off. Or you can use this device more effectively by selecting the days from the repeat section here and adding more than one program such as open between these hours on this day, open between these hours and close between these hours. In other words, it is also possible to use the ventilation function of guillotine windows more efficiently in this way. Apart from that, when we come back, there is a recording section here. In this recording section, it offers you a historian when this device was turned on and when it was turned off. You can also control this from here. Also, if you have more than one guillotine window, you can do this by creating a scenario under the Smart Life menu. For example, you can create a scenario and when the device's status changes, you can go to the when the device's status changes section and you can follow the guillotine windows open state or close state or stop commands from here. You can change them. You can add multiple windows side by side and make them open and close with a single button. If you want these to work as automation, you need to go to the automation section under the same menu and create a scene. In this scene, the difference between the scenario and automation is that in the scenario, we usually run it by clicking a button. But in the automation section, for example, when the air temperature changes or when the status of a timer or another device changes, for example, if you have a sensor, you can set up automation as when the status of this sensor changes and in this way, the devices can start moving on their own without you doing anything. They can work on their own. This can be features that both make your life easier and increase your comfort with smart technologies in your business or elsewhere. Yes, our guillotine processes were like this. We can also use it as a pergola. For this, let's delete this guillotine window. After removing the device, I click the plus button at the top right and say add device. Under the door window menu, this time I will select pergola Wi-Fi. Then we select the Wi-Fi information we want the device to connect. The point we need to pay attention here is that this Wi-Fi information must be 2.4 GHz. These smart devices cannot connect to 5 GHz Wi-Fi. So make sure it is 2.4, then we click the next button. Again, we press the same button three times. The light started blinking. I said next, I click on make sure the light is blinking and I say next. Again, it is important that the devices are close to each other. Right now it will quickly complete its addition. Yes, successfully added. I click on the completed button and the device has already given us its feedback. Now here we have left and right buttons. For example, let's press left. Since the limit points are small again, there is a fast animation here. At longer limit points, this animation will be a bit slower. Now let's say close. It is closed in this way. Other features are already the same. I just want to mention this in Pergul especially. For example, there is a weather change situation in the automation section, in the smart life section. In other words, although it does not work very well, you can make a setting that can work in direct proportion to the weather application of your environment and the phone you use. Like what, for example, you can make a setting such as turn off the blinds when it rains. For this, you need to authorize the application or the location of your device from the weather section. For example, he found it as Pendic right now. From here, you can select rainfall and set the curtains to close when it rains. Of course, this doesn't work 100% successfully, but this is one of the nice features that smart devices offer us. As I said, this works well depending on how well your phone and the weather application you use works. I mean, it doesn't work 100% healthy, but it is also nice that smart technologies make our lives easier in this way. By the way, just like in guillotine, if you have more than one pergola, you can create them with a single button on the stage and turn them on and off. So the same features, the same program features are also valid for the pergola. If you wish, let me also show you the process of deleting the remote control because you can also add more than one remote control.
You can also control different channels here. You can also assign them to a single channel on the remote control and turn them on and off in a single way. Now, if we come to limit deletion, limit deletion is as follows. First, I press the back button once, then I press the down button, then when I press the back button again, it erases the limit points both up and down. Of course, when we delete the limit points, you can no longer use this device from Wi-Fi, so it also loses its Wi-Fi feature. When you redefine the limits, you will need to set it up again on Wi-Fi. Let me tell you that as an extra. To delete the remote, I press the back button once. I press the center button, and when I press the back button again, this remote is no longer functional. It won't start this engine now, and that's the way it is if you want to use it in gradual or also known as tilt mode. And to do that, we press the back button once, we press the up button once, and when we press the back button again, this mode is also activated. For example, what does this mode do? It allows the motor to move very little by little. You can fine tune it like this, for example. You can also fine tune it like this with very small movements every time you press it. To exit this mode, just press the back button once again. Now we are now in, back to our normal mode. Yes, in this video we have made a review of the tube motors that Coupon Smart has realized with percent cent domestic production. You can use these tube motors in your guillotine windows or pergolas. See you in another video. Take care of yourselves very well. Goodbye.